making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky. Guys, we're just Lane. moments away from what will likely be one of the most one-sided affairs you'll ever see. For once, Cole, I have to agree with you. The numbers game will just be too much to overcome. There's no questioning what Stephanie McMahon has done for our industry, but uh, well, some would say her personality can be abrasive at times. You tell her that, Byron. Go tell Stephanie that she's abrasive. Uh, she seems busy right now. Some would say that perhaps her attitude leaves a little bit to be desired. Well, she's the some, boss. Some better find their way to the unemployment line. Well, I'm not me. I'm just saying. As the late, great Lemmy says, it's time to play the game. The mood has changed. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, the game, Triple H. This is Triple H's world. The spotlight is his home. A Grand Slam champion, one of the all-time greats. Yeah, former European champion, former Intercontinental champion, tag team champion, and WWE champion. Triple H is right where he belongs in the spotlight with the eyes of the WWE Universe fixated squarely on his chiseled physique. Broke into the main event scene with the likes of The Rock, Mick Foley, Big Show, all at... WrestleMania 2000 and has never looked back since. effective methodical technicians to ever lace up a pair of boots a surefire first ballot hall of famer Everything he's created in the ring and out. Somebody's in trouble. This can't be good. The boss is back. And their partner. From Greenwich, Connecticut, Mr. McMahon. You know, Corey, what sometimes we show up at hotels in different towns at three or four o'clock in the morning, Mr. McMahon's there with his trainer heading to the gym. The physical embodiment of success. The man's got grapefruits the size of small planets and has to feel like a billion dollars stepping into the ring amidst his own creation. Oh my gosh. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with a huge handicap match.
She's looking at it. She's almost out of it. Bottom an uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. What a strike. Harsh impact. Stepping it, man, on her heels a bit here. She's going to have to make sure this doesn't get out of hand. She certainly hasn't looked impressive here tonight, guys, but it's still early, and things can turn around on a dime here in WWE. Oh, what a slap. Oh, what impact. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. This might be it! Oh my, nice neck breaker! No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. Right to the back of the neck. Mr. McMahon bought the company that would become WWE from his father, Vince McMahon Sr., in 1982 and transformed it from a successful regional promotion in the northeastern part of the United States to a national and then international company. Well, going to the top, high risk. Oh, straight forearm. Oof. What a hurricanrana. Oh, a flying forearm on the mark. Up until 1997, most people thought Mr. McMahon was a WWE announcer and did not know that he owned WWE. That revelation brought about an incredible change in sports entertainment as seen by Mr. McMahon's conflicts with Bret Hitman Hart and a historic rivalry with Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Attitude Era propelled WWE into the stratosphere as the company crushed Ted Turner's WCW in the Monday Night Wars. Thank you, Inch. Rolls through, and she's... Oh, God, the disarmer! Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. When I was Triple H here, I can't help to think how he's changed the face of the W. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Nailed it. Vicious strike. Oh, oh and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. What a stomp. Good grief. Michael started discussing evolution in 2002 and the force they became. They represented the past with Flair, the present with Triple H, and the future with Randy Orton and Batista. You might not have liked them, but you had to respect them. <laughs> not like evolution. I loved them in evolution because they took joy in angering just about everyone else. At one point in 2003, they held every men's championship on Raw. A true testimony to their dominance. Ooh. What a strike, right on the mark. Byron, you've seen Becky compete since her days in NXT. Would you say she is one of the most difficult superstars to devise a strategy against? Oh, absolutely, Michael. It's one of the reasons Becky is such a feared competitor. The Irish last kicker can trade holds, exchange martial arts strikes, and take to the air with the best of them. Drop kick. Beautiful. Boom. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Gut first into the barricade. What an electrifying athlete Mr. McMahon is. Toss to the outside. Beautiful technique. If this match heads outside, things can go south real quick. Let's hope not. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. She better do.
do something fast. Triple H showing No! She breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. We're looking at complete domination here. This isn't looking good for her, guys. No, it's not, Michael. She looks absolutely out of it. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Big flying forearm. And she's back in the ring now. Ooh, right to the throat. Oh! As we all know by now, matches like this can get out of hand in the blink of an eye. She got her with a reversal. Nailed it. And what a reversal by Stephanie McMahon. DDT! Ooh! When Stephanie's feeling it, good luck to whoever crosses her back. She's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Oh, man, she is rolling now. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Setting it up. The shoe might be on the other foot here. Ooh, what an impact. We might be looking at a victory for Becky here. Stephanie McMahon is in trouble. Got the disarmer. But is it enough to put Stephanie away? There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. A man like that seems to have an endless store of energy. Here comes the setup, double underhook. You're fired. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? She's looking to get out of here with a win early. She just will not give up, Cole. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. looking good now guys take a look at this she's clearly not getting paid by the hour digging deep for a kick out wow becky's showing some serious heart right there and she's still alive oh nasty impact these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been. Oh, she is on fire. She counters before it's too late. And 
Nicky Lynch. Got the disarmer. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. Oh, what a nasty, nasty move. technique. You're going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. There it is. Exploder suplex. That might have done it, Cole. There may be no coming back from that slam, Cole. Becky Lynch is looking for the ending. What? She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Look at her go. Down. Like being manhandled by a bear. Is it enough to put Becky away? Now Triple H needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Scoop slam. The cutter never ceases to amaze me. The Irish last kicker telling her opponents how she really feels. Knocked right off the apron. She is on fire. Thank you, Lynch. The exploder. The game getting absolutely punished right now. They got him. Got the up. Got the disarmer. She can pick up the win here, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if that caused some serious internal injuries. Becky Lynch wins. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. She's taking care of business. This was another great moment. Man, oh man, look at that. And here's how she finished this thing. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Now that's eking out a win. There's few things more humiliating than tapping out to your opponent. Another amazing match in the long and storied history of Survivor Series.